Okay, so, um, hi guys. I'm gonna be doing a um, video today about Bakashi fermentation or Bakashi composting. Um, I don't see a lot of people um, who have done any videos on this. And I know that when I was do starting or looking into it, uh, there wasn't a lot of videos or even information out there. So I kind of just learned on my own. Um, it's not that complicated, but um, I thought this video might be helpful for people who are interested in composting um, and um, are concerned about rats and um, a lot of they have a lot of food scraps essentially versus um, uh, like green like uh, yard waste and stuff like that because I use I have a lot of food scraps and so Bakashi works better for that. <clears throat> you can under Bakashi you can ferment you can compost. Um, you know, like meat and bones and cooked food and things like that, which I don't do though, but um, it's possible. And and so this is the brand that I buy. It's um, through eBay. It's a two pound bag and it lasts me a very long time. It's about 17 bucks or $20, under $20. And it's by the Bokashi Brothers and it lasts a very long time because you just use a little bit each time. <clears throat> and so this is my about one week's worth of, of, of material that I'm going to be composting right now. Um, it's mostly for my family and they give it to me and it's just like their food scraps and um, uh, peelings of things like that. So let me show you my system. This is, I have a double system. <clears throat> so I have two buckets here. Um, the top bucket and there's a bottom bucket and then there's like a little um, planter or a um, something under in sort of to raise it up a little bit um and so this is <clears throat> from last week what it looks like it's kind of gross it just you know has that mold and that white stuff and that's the bakashi i think uh there's the brand on top and um this is from two weeks ago yeah, so this has been sitting around for about two weeks now. Um, similar, it just looks, you know, kind of sort of cooking. Um, it kind of has a little bit of a smell, like kind of a, how to describe it, like a fermenty smell, I guess. <clears throat> and then, so what I do is I, <clears throat> I this is one is, um, for this one was last week, right here. And so what I do is I, I rotate it. So this one needs to be emptied. So I'm gonna dump, it's been cooking for two weeks now because it's one week here and then another week here. And so it's been two weeks since this one has been composting and it can be for even longer. And so I have to clean it out. <clears throat> and then I dump it into the my compost bin and I clean it out. So let me show you that, give me a second. Okay, here we go again. So this is two weeks worth material it's a little bit gross i'll be honest so as i said the bot there's the thing right there which it keeps it raised above and that's all sort of the juice that collects there and it's very nutritious and um so i just sort of dump it on my plants and they really thrive on it um in the summertime in the wintertime there's not there's no fruit flies but in the uh, summertime when it gets warmer there's like fruit flies that sort of accumulate and they kind of have their little i don't know they're larva um, and I just sort of clean that out <clears throat> and there's more like fruit flies down here too um, so I just spray those off when I clean it so what I do is I just take this and I dump it on uh, whatever tree I want to fertilize so in this case I usually dump it on my avocado so I'm gonna be dumping this on my avocado tree they seem to like it so I give them a little bit of boost of nutrition you just sort of dump it like that. You can see that, sort of kind of gross looking. A little bit on this one. Okay, so I dumped it all out. So then what I do is I just 
spray it at that point. Hey, stop it. <clears throat> I just spray it with the garden hose and it just kind of removes like the fruit fly larvae. This is the most kind of tedious part of it is sort of the cleaning portion, but it, you, don't, you only need to do it like once every week, so it's not that bad. <clears throat> put the, put that back down there, which that's gonna keep it raised. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> let me open this part right here. This is my new compost bin. So I'm gonna take the lid off. <clears throat> so that's all the compost that's been sitting there. Um, so all I do is I will pull up the lid. See if I can do this with one hand. Okay, I had to cut that. I dropped it and so I made a little bit of mess. So you can see here that it's basically looks the same. It doesn't really change much in terms of its, you know, what it is, even though it's been fermenting. But, you know, all the juice has come out. It's a little bit strong smelling, uh, kind of sour smelling, fermented. And you just sort of lay it out a little bit. Um, I have a lot of worms in here and they love this stuff. <clears throat> So I usually do this and then I sort of wet it and I spray it down and um, sort of wash that down and it helps with the smell. And uh, that's it, that's all I do. Sometimes and I just add other yard wastes or uh, if I've shredded paper, uh, and then you rinse this out, this bucket out. <clears throat> this, ha this bucket has the holes in them. Uh, so I forgot to mention that earlier. You have to drill a bunch of holes in the bottom so it can drain. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse this out right now and then you're gonna refill it for next time. Come up again on top of each other. It's ready to be filled up again. So this part's really easy. You just take each bag. <clears throat> the material. it in okay so I had to cut that um, so I basically opened all the bags I did two layers and um, I just put a little bit on both layers of of bakashi and it's about I don't know a quarter cup or so it's not that much just light sprinkling on top sometimes it gets a little bit overflowing and so what you can do is just sort of like use a shovel and kind of press it down kind of breaks up the vegetables a little bit so that they kind of compress down also gets the bakashi mixed up a little bit on the different um, vegetables. So the bakashi, <clears throat> it's like a fungus. So it shoots out spores. So it doesn't have to be in direct contact to get all of the sort of stuff moving. Um, it shoots out spores and sort of gets all over the stuff just by mildly distributing. It doesn't have to be on every single piece. So basically that's it. So you just put the lid on, put it back in the system, wait, you know, another week or two, and then it's ready to go. And then I dump it into the, um, the bin. And then, um, when I put it in the bin, it, um, it, in the summertime, it breaks down really fast. So probably within, I usually only sort of harvest it once or twice a year so 
it sits here, but there's a considerable amount of, com of worm castings and compost that is produced by the Bakashi. Um, uh, so I use it as like fertilizer. So I just put it on my trees and stuff like that, like right there. <clears throat> and it just breaks down um, and it sort of slow releases the fertilizer through them. And they all seem to do well on it. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. Thanks again.